All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So um, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm so excited to be talking with you tonight about a uh, topic that's very uh, close to my heart and um, has been a wonderful um, program for my life and my health. Um, I'm going to be talking today about a nutritional program um, called the Metabolic Balance Program. It optimizes your nutrition through food and is based on your individual blood markers. So as a practitioner, it's been absolutely phenomenal to see the changes in my patients using this program. As well, it's been absolutely incredible for me uh, personally in my own health um, after using this program to see the changes as well. So um, I wanted to kind of introduce myself or I wanted to give you a little bit of background about myself or my story. Um, after attending Queen's University um, for my undergraduate degree, I um, went to the Canadian College of Naturopathic Medicine, um, which is a four year um, degree course. I am very motivated to help people with their mind, body and spirit. Um, I deal with a lot of, um, you know, chronic illness and helping helping people with their chronic illness. But I definitely believe that there is a mind body spirit connection. And I love to um, address um, that as well with my patients. I have a general practice in Toronto, and um, some of you may know I also practice virtually as well. Um, in my practice very early on, I came to the realization that um, supplements and prescription medications, while they have their place in our health, um, really the foundation of health and better outcomes for my patients really came when I focused on diet and nutrition. For me, that was the foundation um, for my patients. And um, to be honest, um, I think we'd be hard pressed to find an illness that really isn't impacted by diet and nutrition, um, whether you're talking about migraines or arthritis, um, even depression, um, you know, um, obviously weight loss, all these things really have a root in, in our, in our diet and nutrition. So I found it was futile just to be, you know, prescribing supplements, or even I do prescription, uh, bioidentical hormone therapy. If I didn't really address diet and nutrition, I felt like I was, it was an uphill battle. It, we were, we were working against, um, not working with, um, what we have. So, uh, that really was solidified for me early on. Um, I'm also a wife and a mom of two. And uh, personally, a few years ago, I also had a few um, health challenges myself. Um, I would say I wasn't in the best uh, frame of health. I was um, you know, tired all the time. I wasn't um, sleeping. I had um, some back pain, some aches and pains that I wasn't able to address. I wasn't sure really what was going on. And I had a bit of you know weight to lose, which I knew it wasn't wasn't cosmetic. It was something that I knew would uh, really help me in terms of my fatigue and and my um, and, and my overall general well being if I was able to address those things. So at a medical conference, I um, came across um, the uh, metabolic balance program, and what really um, sparked my interest was that not only was it evidence based, it was based on scientific research, but the program um, takes a look at your blood, thirty seven different markers and creates a health profile and looks at where you are um, not balanced. So for example, it looks at your liver enzymes, looks at your thyroid, um, looks at about 37 different markers, as I said, and it really is something that is very unique because after we analyze the blood or after the program analyzes the blood, a meal plan is generated. And the meal plan is very specific to your needs and um, to the imbalances and really tries to support you and um, augments any other, um, you know, treatments that you're doing. So I was really, um, you know, really piqued my interest. And after going through the program myself, I uh, really, really reaped the benefits. I felt like I was sleeping a lot better. Uh, I didn't have energy drops throughout the day. 
my um, focus was a lot better my memory my dad used to joke all the time that you know your memory is so bad you're going to lose one of these kids one day and after going through the program i really felt a lot more um, mental clarity and um, you know less uh, less brain fog and i was also able to um, address the, address my weight as well so it was really a, a profound it had a really profound effect on me um, and it really again solidified the fact that food was really the center and and a, and a key piece for my patients and in my practice. Um, so I don't know if some of you can relate. Um, perhaps some of you out there, maybe you're having some low energy, um, maybe some bloating or digestive issues, IBS. I'm seeing some patients with um, SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth syndrome. Um, I also see some, you know, blood pressure and blood sugar issues. Maybe you're having some sleep disturbances. Um, I, I see a lot of sleep issues as well in my practice and also hormonal issues. Um, that's, that's a big one. Um, and also aches and pains. So if you can relate to any of these things, um, I'm here to tell you that these are just some of the things that proper diet and nutrition can address. Um, even for myself, there were some nutrient deficiencies that um, that was plaguing that were plaguing me, and uh, I had no real way of addressing them until I went through this program. So while I was, um, you know, I while I was practicing, I always gave nutritional advice wherever I could, but I never had, um, you know, a proven system. So I really wasn't able to give optimal advice to my patients. So as I said, I didn't have a proven system. What the metabolic balance program gave me was it took the guesswork out of how to approach diet and nutrition. It's not a generic or general diet saying, you know, avoid gluten and dairy and everything will be okay. It really looked at um, the imbalances provided by the blood and also the intake. And it makes a program that's tailored to you and what your need, body needs to function optimally. And I'm going to get into how the program actually does this and what the biochemistry and all the all the backstory and, and, and all the evidence behind it. But this really um, offered me a proven system to help my patients um, with that missing key, the, the nutritional component of, um, of treatment. Um, also, um, the program offered structure. It offered structure to me. You know, we live in a society where food is so abundant. We, we kind of need structure. Um, and I know everybody is home and, and you know, it, it's very, food is very readily available nowadays. So what I think we thrive on is structure. So the program provides specific recommendations on not only what we should be eating, but how much. Um, and it's, a way where I think of it, where food doesn't control us, we control the food, meaning we are able to take control of our of our nutrition and our health. And I think um, what's going on now, it just solidifies the idea that we really need to take control of our health and well-being. And, um, you know, ev everyday steps really add up to our to our health outcomes. So um, again, in terms of structure, the, the uh, program provided a nutritional roadmap to understand um, how your body will best function given the right foods in the right amounts. So this is what the program gave me and also uh, provides my patients um, as well, blood values. You know, it's interesting. Um, sometimes I, I hear patients saying, well, I, I, I did my blood work, um, but I never heard from my, my doctor again. So in this program, as I was saying, the blood is analyzed for about 37 different blood markers. And based on the analysis, a way of eating is prescribed for you. So um, it's basically based on nutrients you're lacking and also have too much of. Um, sometimes I see patients with a little bit too much B12. You know, it really, the, the program really tries to balance out these nutritional deficiencies, but it goes beyond that. It also tries to um, support you in a more deeper level. And um, I'm going to be getting into that in the next couple of slides. Also, the program um, offers a lot of support and guidance. You could think of it as, you know, doctor led. I, I provide the support and guidance as we're doing other treatments. Um, I also guide you through the program. Um, obviously, there's a lot of questions on how to implement the program. So I'm here to answer those questions, guide you through it. There is a 40-page detailed report 
that outlines you know what you should be consuming to bring your body to balance so it's very detailed and very specific um, for your needs and that's what i love about it because it really again takes the guesswork out of what is it that we should be eating to optimize our our body um, and as i said it's uh, over overseen by a trained health professional which is myself um, so what is metabolic balance um, the program was developed by a German doctor and his team of physicians, as well as nutritional scientists. So the gentleman that you see here, Dr. Wolfgang von Fack, he was a German doctor and uh, he was an internist. And early on in his practice also, he recognized the fact that, you know, providing prescriptions to a patient and asking them to take them and go away, it wasn't really working for him. So he really uh, delved deep into nutrition um, and nutritional science that what we eat has an effect on the body and our body and our biochemistry, if you will. So he cataloged, you know, lots of foods, lots of vegetables, fruits, uh, proteins, and looked at how these foods in different combinations had an effect on the body. Um, and so he was he's credited to be the creator and as i said it's based on a lot of research 30 years of, of research um and so what the uh, program actually does is that it brings balance to your hormones enzymes and it optimizes your metabolism so um and it also um can be used for weight management if that is something that you choose or if that's something that's necessary it's not a necessary part of the program but um, weight loss can be uh, achieved through this program so i just wanted to break down um you know some of the components that i just said here so it balances your hormones and how does it do that so when we think about hormones, usually we think just about estrogen and progesterone, but in actual fact, there are about 50 different hormones in our bodies. And hormones are basic, basically the communication system in our bodies. So for example, when you sleep, that's a hormone that achieved that for you. When you wake up, that's also a hormone. When you are hungry, that's a hormone. When you feel full, that's also a hormone. So um, hormones are um, responsible for so many processes, obviously also in mood, um, serotonin is another uh, key hormone. So the um, program brings to balance hormones using the nutrients and nutrition from foods, prescribed foods that are specific to you. Um, as well, it brings uh, balance to your enzymes. Now. Enzymes can be thought of as spark plugs. They actually get biochemical reactions going. So obviously there are digestive enzymes, which this program is very good at um, normalizing, but also we have heart enzymes, liver enzymes, pancreatic enzymes, um, and it really does a good job of us also balancing enzymes through food, uh, particularly the prescription of certain fruits and berries, which again, I'll get into in a little bit. Um, and it also optimizes your metabolism. Metabolism is a word that perhaps we see or we hear of um, in terms of weight, but metabolism can also be thought of in other regards. For example, um, in the realm of osteoporosis, we also have um, calcium metabolism. Um, it's interesting that you know people can be eating calcium-rich foods, but you know in the land of plenty, they're still not optimally absorbing the calcium. So there's an imbalance there. And this uh, program identifies it, identifies why that is. Perhaps it's an enzyme that's off, perhaps it's an oral hormone that, that's off, and it tries to bring the body into balance. So those are the ways in general that the program is acting. Um, also, the program is it's, it's a very sophisticated nutritional system, um, and as I said, it's based on your blood values and also your unique health profile. So when I um, do an intake, you know, I want to know a lot about you. I want to know, you know, I do a review of systems. I want to know about your digestive health. Um, I want to know about your uh, fatigue or your energy levels. Um, so with that health profile and your blood values, both are sent to Germany to uh, metabolic balance 
and they create the meal plan. I don't create the meal plan. I basically help you through it. I execute it for you. And with my guidance is how the uh, program is basically administered. So it's backed up by, as I said, um, many years of clinical research and many, many people around the world have benefited from the program. And I'm so excited to be able to um, offer it to you. So um, the foundation, just to get into it a little bit more, the foundation of the program is in its unique capability to develop a truly personalized nutritional plan based on an in-depth analysis of your unique blood values, medical history, and personal likes and dislikes. So it goes beyond any type of you know, food intolerance testing or just looking at your blood values to see what nutri nutrients you are deficient in. Um, it's a very, um, as I said, sophisticated uh, way of looking at the blood and trying to correct those imbalances. Your personalized nutrition plan again acts as your roadmap, indicating exactly which natural foods you should eat in order to orchestrate the biochemical changes needed for reaching your desirable health goals. Um, it's interesting when we um, take, you know, prescription medications or supplements. You know, um, the body is definitely like an orchestra. I like that the fact that that word is put there because, you know. If we have a headache or if we're you know, feeling something, it's not just one pathway that perhaps is maybe out of sync. Really, if there is a problem in one area, something else is also affected. So the body works like an orchestra. The more we can bring balance as a foundation using nutrition, the more we can address these symptoms if we have to with prescription and supplementation, which is which is obviously necessary in, in some cir circumstances, but a lot of this can be you know um, addressed very nicely with nutrition and um, nutrient rich foods. And um, what I want you to take away from this seminar is that food is a prescription. You know you can definitely use food as um, something to your advantage that works with you, or in some cases food you know doesn't work with you, and this takes the guesswork out of all of that. So um, what I love about this program and why I think it's very successful is that it's 100% natural. You know, there are no pills, no injections, no shakes, um, no proprietary foods, no, um, you know, points. It really, really, the, the foundation is whole foods um, in the right amounts and in the right combinations. That is why I believe that the, that the uh, program has been so successful. And if you think about it, you know, our forefathers or, you know, just a few generations ago, you know, we weren't able to really do shakes and, and protein shakes and, and things like that. We really relied on the goodness of the earth, you know, uh, fresh local uh, produce, which I think we are, which I think this is why the, the program is so successful is because it brings back that wholesomeness of, of, of what, we need, what we need from the diet. Um, and your local grocery store and farmer's market um, can easily provide the wholesome nutrient rich foods listed on your personalized nutrition, nutritional plan. Um, and as I was saying, as this was a, um, um, a program that was conceptualized in um, Germany, and there's about over 1 million individuals who have actually benefited from this program around the world. Um, there are metabolic balance coaches all around the world, um, and it's been incredible to see so many people's transformations and, um, and positive changes in their health. So um, I wanted to get into some before and afters. This is just one individual who had gone through the metabolic balance program. Um, as you can see, you know, he um, did lose weight and, um, but weight loss isn't the best part of this program, I have to say. Um, if you can see here, um, this individual, oh, sorry, um, this individual here, you know, he had a lot of inflammation, if you will, um, in the posterior part of his neck. Um, and as you can see, that inflammation, that interstitial fluid um, that was causing the inflammation is really nicely um, addressed. You can see the changes in his in his face. Um, you know, it's been it's just incredible. So the diet is or the program is based on an anti inflammatory diet. That's how the uh, physician and the nutritional scientists approach the diet for you. It's an anti inflammatory inflammatory diet. And also, um, in the medical community, I think um, there's been a stronger link 
um, to a lot of health concerns and in, in inflammation. Um, it's interesting, even Alzheimer's, um, there's definitely a link to um, a lot of inflammation and um, the incidence of um, Alzheimer's disease. And so, and obviously you can think of, you know, digestive concerns. A lot of disease processes actually have inflammatory, an inflammatory basis, if you will. So the program strives to lower the inflammation in your body. It helps to normalize your metabolism and also normalize liver function because the liver is obviously the place where um, we metabolize, metabolize a lot of toxins and metabolic waste. So it helps to support the liver as well. Um, okay, so what are the um, advantages or what can we expect the metabolic balance program to do for us? So as I said, weight loss, if you choose or if that is something that we want to address, it definitely can do that for you, but it's not a necessary part of the program uh, by any means. Um, you can um, experience some improved energy. For me, that definitely improved. My energy levels were much, much more um, level throughout the day. I didn't have, you know, the energy drops and, and like the cravings and, and things like that, that really, really nicely leveled out for me. Um, you can also expect some uh, great uh, effects on hormonal balance. Whether you're talking about menopause or whether you're talking about PMS, um, hormonal balance is something that is well rooted in that in um, nutrition. Um, as I said, I do a lot of um, bioidentical hormonal uh, prescriptions. I find that when I do this program or I make you know solid recommendations to the diet, um, that the response is a lot better that the outcomes are a lot better for individuals. And as well, migraine support. And you can appreciate that migraines have a, um, a deep link to foods. I mean, sometimes people have sensitivities. Um, I know chocolate, cheese, these things can be quite inflammatory. So the, the program nicely um, addresses migraines and um, can be used for, for an adjunct or as a support for addressing migraines. Um, you can also achieve better sleep. Now, um, I know a lot of people must have tried uh, melatonin. Um, you really, the most powerful melatonin is the melatonin you produce in your body. So if we can achieve that for, for you, um, and as you, I don't, I'm not sure if everybody knows, but melatonin is also a hormone. So we are trying to balance your hormones, and I'm going to talk about how we achieve um, this hormonal balance in a little bit more detail, but better sleep can be achieved. Um, improved moods and cognition. Um, there was uh, a couple of studies that were done in uh, prisons or penitentiaries where they offered inmates um, wholesome, nutrient-dense foods and changed their eating habits. And they found that um, violence was decreased, um, a lot of depression and um, behavior actually changed. So we can't underestimate the value or the importance of diet and nutrition in, in any regard, and especially with depression and moods. I think it has a, an, an incredible place. Um, also bowel and stomach problems. This, these are also situations or, um, excuse me, um, um, areas that the metabolic balance program can address through um, optimizing your enzymes. So um, it does this also by, um, you know, identifying food intolerances, but it also helps to um, decrease the inflammation. So a lot of digestive processes have an inflammatory component to them. And again, as this is an inflammatory anti inflammatory diet, it really helps to balance digestive issues, heartburn, um, you know, bloating, all these things are can be can can be um, nicely addressed with uh, this this program. Also skin, um, I think you can appreciate how skin also has um, a connection to the gut. Um, a lot of times, you know, people will try a, a dairy free or a gluten free diet. And things definitely can improve. Um, but this again goes a little bit deeper and gives you more guidance as to what are the foods um, that you should be taking to um, help mitigate the inflammation and the hormonal balance or to, to really achieve hormonal balance to have healthy glowing skin and less blemishes, less acne. Um, and also blood pressure, cholesterol and diabetes support. The metabolic balance program um, is targeting your insulin. So it helps to balance your insulin levels. So a lot of people who are pre-diabetic or have um, or on diabetes medications, 
Um, a lot of people actually have to tweak their medications with the help of their prescribing physician. Um, you know, within a couple of weeks, they do have better insulin control, better blood sugar control. So those are the things that one can definitely expect from the metabolic balance program. So um, what does the program look like? So um, you can appreciate that, um, you know, the program is definitely very low in sweets and, and soft drinks and, and um, items like that. It's very heavy in, um, you know, fruits and vegetables, um, whole, um, whole fruits and vegetables as well. Um, you know, protein definitely is, is, a, is a large part of the or, or the right part of the of the program. Really, it's um, it's mimicking kind of diets that are in the blue zones. I don't know if, if a lot of you've heard of these blue zones where there are areas in, for example, in Japan and um, even in South America, some communities where they have lower incidences of chronic illness, um, lower incidences of heart disease, um, and they eat in this manner. They eat fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, unprocessed um, protein, not a lot of protein, but in the right amounts. So again, this is the basis of the diet. We are trying to lower your inflammation and get back to this healthy eating and um, you know less compulsive eating, if you will. Um, and also water. Water is a an amazing part, or is, or is a, such a large part of um, of health and of of, di of the diet. Um, it is kind of like the gasoline that will actually take nutrients to the different tissues and the different cells, but also it helps to carry out metabolic waste. So if there's anything, any other takeaway that you can take from this seminar, definitely your water intake should be adequate. And, um, and the program actually gives you a prescription for the right amount of water for your body weight and your target weight. Um, okay, so satiety. What else you can expect from the program is satiation. You won't be hungry. Um, the program is designed to keep you full. Even if weight loss is a is an aim or as a goal, um, it, it, it provides the macronutrients in the right amounts to keep you satiated and keep you keep you full. Um, I'll get into also how it affects the insulin levels. It doesn't allow your body to spike your insulin because once you spike your insulin, you know, unfortunately it'll go low and then you set up a, a roller coaster and I have a graphic to, um, I, uh, to kind of go into that, but it keeps you full. And in fact, a lot of people say, do I really need to eat all this food? I mean, it is, um, it, it's, as I said, designed to keep you full and it's in a balanced proportion of the macros and the micronutrients that you need. Okay. Um, some more benefits. Um, you can definitely experience some reduced allergies and intolerances. Um, you know, allergies, some people have unexplained hives or some things are not right on their skin. Um, it definitely calms the inflammation um, and addre addresses intolerances as well. Um, and I think what's really powerful is it has a very, very uh, powerful benefit for sufferers of PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a metabolic syndrome. With PCOS, um, there is inflammation that's in the, it's in the background. Um, as, and as I said, it's because it's a metabolic syndrome and we are targeting the metabolism and um, controlling or at least putting insulin in the right um, range, it really is very powerful for PCOS and also fertility. Um, I don't have time to get into um, the, spe you know, the specific studies, but um, there is a, a large component of fertility that rests on proper diet and nutrition and getting your metabolism in check. So um, these are all based on studies um, that have been done, but I just wanted to highlight that, as well as improved joint inflammation and pain. Um, I'm sure some of you have heard about nightshade family vegetables. They are, you know, the uh, tomatoes and the eggplants and um, things of that nature. They can actually be a little bit pro-inflammatory. So the um, program not only will identify if you should have them, and if you should have, if you can have um, these vegetables, it will prescribe to you the right amounts or the frequency. For me, um, I can only have tomatoes, I believe, twice a week um, because it is pro-inflammatory for me. So it is very specific in the guidance. And now that doesn't mean that, you know, you can't, you know, have pasta two times, a, you know, a week, or you can't indulge. It is just giving you a guidance that this for you is um, valuable information. Also, the other benefit um, in terms of weight loss is that um, 
There is no excessive or heavy physical workouts needed to achieve weight loss and fat burning. Um, interestingly enough, when we do excessive workouts or um, you know excessive heavy physical workout, we actually raise our cortisol levels. It's, it's a little bit of you know a little bit of a stress that the body goes through. So as we're going through the anti-inflammatory diet, as we're going through the program, we want to calm or we want to kind of um, you know de-stress the body. So while we go through the program for the um, prescribed number of weeks, we um, ask that, you know, you do light exercise, um, walking is great, any type of movement is great, but not, you know, you don't need to engage in any, any heavy physical exercise to lose the weight if that's, again, the target or that's something that we're working with. Okay. So which approach is the metabolic balance program um, relying on? So it's not a low fat diet. Um, and actually, you shouldn't fear, uh, fear fat. Um, healthy fats are very, very important for optimal hormonal regulation. Um, so in any case, whether it's the metabolic balance program or not, you shouldn't fear fat. Um, and it's an integral part of many different um, processes in our body. Um, it's not a high uh, carb diet by any means. They provide you with high quality carbohydrates, fewer carbohydrates, but um, good quality ones that keep you full and satiated. So it's not something like, uh, you know, I can appreciate a lot of people have researched, you know, the keto diet, you know, this we're looking for a program or a plan that is sustainable for you. You know, if we restrict our carbohydrates too much or our calories too much, when we eat normally, unfortunately, we have a rebound effect. So this again is kind of showing you that this is the way your body is meant to uh, function, eating the right foods for you. Um, and the other aspect of the diet or the program is that we are asking for you to, uh, to consume three meals a day. Now, um, for me, when I heard about this, I was like, there is no way that I'm going to be able to do three meals a day. But um, really, if you think about it, um, you know, if we think about our grandparents or our great grandparents, really, this is how they ate, you know, they ate, uh, they didn't, they didn't eat or snack too much throughout the day, it was really controlled, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And that is really the optimal way to eat. And I'll show you why that is. Um, but yes, this is the this is the prescription that the or the plan that the program is instilling is three meals divided throughout the day. And again, it's not a low calorie diet. It's um, wanting you to uh, sustain a normal calorie intake. Um, uh, but again, it will uh, uh, be able to achieve weight loss again if that is something that we choose. Okay. So um, this is a little bit of a graphic um, showing blood sugar levels uh, with three meals a day. And this is typically how I was eating. You know, I would have a breakfast, maybe I wouldn't uh, eat right, or I'd eat, you know, something on the, on the go. Then I'd have a snack maybe mid morning, um, I'd have lunch and uh, then maybe a snack mid afternoon, dinner and you know perhaps um, a snack again. So as you can see, this line is basically my insulin going up and down. So at these peaks, these are the peaks where insulin is the highest. When insulin is the highest, basically what happens is it turns on an insulin receptor. And when insulin is turned on, you first of all, you don't get fat burning if, if that's again what uh, we desire for you it's not a possibility when insulin is high but what you also um, get is these blue zones now you want these blue zones these are times when your body is actually burning fat and actually in an anti-inflammatory stage so the more that you can achieve these blue zones is when you actually are able to heal now you can think about diabetics um, you know people who have elevated insulin levels Diabetics aren't able to really um, achieve a lot of healing. That's why you, you hear of diabetic neuropathy or retinopathy, because they are not able to um, keep their insulin in, in, a, in a range where healing or anti-inflammatory processes can take place. So that is basically why, um, you know, eating throughout the day like this is, you know, can be detrimental for us. And what's actually more advantageous is eating um, three meals spaced throughout the day. So in this case, you know, there's breakfast and then there's lunch and then there's obviously dinner. But look at this, you know, there's they're not 
puddles anymore. They're basically pools of um, periods where you can um, achieve this anti-inflammatory type of a an effect on your body. So you know, the longer you can go um, with this type of a um, a feeling, this this is what we want to achieve. Now, I can appreciate that a lot of people are you know into intermittent fasting, and in fact. This is how intermittent intermittent fasting is so um, you know successful for people because you know when you're not eating you you can go into these periods of um, you know better fat burning and in, and anti inflammation but in this program we ask you to eat in the morning in fact if you eat in the morning it kind of de-stresses you you know cortisol is actually something that's elevated in the morning so if you don't eat your body sometimes is a little bit stressed and you know, when I was, you know, I had tried intermittent fasting as well, but I found that I would make up for the calories later on in the day and I wouldn't even know it, or I would kind of reach or I would kind of want something very quick to satisfy me. So I try to make it a point now to really uh, hone in on breakfast within an hour of waking up so that it normalizes my insulin levels. That's really key. Um, and that's really been a game changer for me. Um, and so I can better um, go throughout the day without those, you know, up and down those dips or those that roller coaster, if you will. So this is predominantly how the uh, program achieves all those benefits that I was telling you about. So I want to talk a little bit more about insulin. So Insulin is, um, you know, probably a hormone that you've heard of um, in relation to blood sugar, uh, but insulin also has an effect on other hormones. It really is something that can disrupt other processes. And um, one thing that's interesting is that it can actually elevate cholesterol. It's a misnomer to think that eggs actually um, are, you know, if you eat eggs that your cholesterol will, will rise. It's actually when you have excess cholesterol, it's your own body producing it in the uh, presence of elevated insulin. So that's something that's very important to remember. And actually your body produces cholesterol as an, um, in, a, in an anti-inflammatory type of a way. Um, cholesterol actually provides like cushioning. And if there's a lot of insulin always um, floating around, cholesterol tries to kind of you know, bring down the inflammation. So that's one aspect. Also, um, uh, triglycerides. So one of the things that increases in pre-diabetics is triglycerides, and this is actually more detrimental than cholesterol. Um, and this is the fat concentration in your blood. Um, and again, this is something that goes a little bit elevated, you know, in your 50s when insulin control, if you're not controlling your insulin very well, triglycerides are some of the some of the thing markers that your doctor will call you in for saying, you know, hey, you know, triglycerides are a little bit elevated. You need to control your food, but it's actually your insulin that's um, behind this. Um, also, insulin um, can increase uh, the stress hormone adrenaline, and also it can have an effect on cortisol as well, which is a stress hormone. And when cortisol is up, we cannot really um, lose fat. It's It blocks um, our fat metabolism. On the other hand, um, insulin actually down regulates or it decreases melatonin. So this is why sometimes when I eat a little bit off throughout the day, I actually can't sleep very well. It's, it's a, you know, it's, it's something that I paid attention to more and more. And uh, as I said, endogenous production of melatonin is the most powerful. So if we can achieve that by controlling insulin, by um, going through this type of a program, that's the most effective sleep hormone or sleep medication that there possibly is. Um, and also um, DHEA. DHEA is the mother of all hormones. So for my menopausal patients or people who are looking for menopause help, DHEA is actually the, break, the um, backbone of all the other hormones. So when insulin is up, DHEA, DHEA is suppressed. And so this is why we get into a situation where maybe estrogen, estrogen and progesterone, their levels start to decrease when we don't control, uh, we can't control our insulin very well. So that's a very important um, lesson for me. Um, I rarely, um, you know, do prescriptions without a solid foundation on nutrition. I think it's a very big piece in um, healthy hormones and also, um, you know, successfully going through menopause and, and different types of hormonal issues. And um, HGH, so human growth hormone. This is a hormone that helps to build muscle. 
and it can be suppressed in the presence of elevated insulins or sustained insulin levels. So um, this is something that helps you build muscle and when you work out, um, it, it just helps you be more efficient in, in your muscle building. And also um, in the presence of insulin or elevated insulin, fat, break fat breakdown is um, impeded or is not um, established. So these are the, um, the profile. This is how the program is working to try to balance your hormones. By balancing insulin, these are all the effects that we can um, you know, mitigate. And these are all the things that insulin touches. It's, it's incredible how this one hormone is so um, important and so um, you know, underrated, I would say, in our health. Okay, so how do we actually create a plan or what is, or how does the program actually work? So after I do an intake, um, I basically send you to the, um, to the lab to get blood work done with a requisition. And together with your personal information or the um, information that you share with me in terms of your eating habits, your personal likes and dislikes, uh, whether you're vegetarian or not, all that gets sent to um, Germany and then a plan is created. So an individual nutritional plan is then given to me and then I administer that to you. We, we walk through it, we walk through the whole report and you get to see where your blood markers are, what's off, why is it off and how what the plan is to kind of mitigate or to bring you back to balance. So that's how the, the um, plan is created and executed. Um, and again, it's not something that I generate, but uh, with my input, the um, plan is then established or, or brought to you. Okay, so there are four phases to the actual program. So in phase one, uh, what you can experience is it's a preparation phase. So once you get your meal, meal plan, I explain all these phases to you, but I'm going to just highlight these uh, for you quickly today. So at first, what we do is a two day preparation phase. So, you know, we're going to be eating light those two days, you know, thinks, uh, think um, soups and think, um, you know, light vegetables. You'll also be taking some magnesium. We basically want to clear out your um, system a bit so that we get rid of old foods, old cravings and we start fresh so it's you can think of it a, a bit like a um, colon cleanse but again it's just two days and you're just eating light and um, just in preparation for the actual work that's going to be coming and the work that comes is basically in phase two so this is the only time that I use the word diet because diet means perfection. You know, we want to really um, hone in on the recommendations that are given in the uh, plan. Um, and, you know, they say a strict phase. I like to call it a structured phase um, because that's what it is. It's, um, you know, at least 14 days where we are eating in the manner that is prescribed for you. Three meals a day. Um, you know, we have, we ask you also to weigh your food just so you get an idea if you're actually overeating or under eating, you know, sometimes you're actually under eating something that you need, you know, some of the proteins. So in this phase, we ask you to again, measure your food and, you know, within a couple of days, you'll understand the measurements. So it's not something that you have to do all the time, but it's something that gives you an idea as to, you know, how much macros you're supposed to be eating that's outlined in the program. So um, no matter if you have, if you if we're doing the program for weight loss or we're doing the program for arthritis, for migraines, um, for hormonal health, pretty much everybody will go through um, these two phases, but it depends on the duration. So um, after the 14 days, you know, typically speaking, I don't, um, I ask people to, you know, adhere to the program for at least four weeks, four to six weeks is where we really start to see changes. Two weeks is something that really is, you, you will probably feel changes within, you know, after the first week mark, but to really have long standing, um, you know, um, health and to really take advantage of the program. The best thing to do is to kind of use it for four to six weeks in this kind of more of a um, structured structured phase. Having said that, Phase three is actually the relaxed phase. So we don't want you to be eating just the foods that are prescribed in the plan forever, because that will also, you know, set your, set up set you up for nutritional deficiencies. In phase three, we actually ask you to introduce other foods that are also listed in a different section, um, and try to see your response. So, for example, some people will say, you know what, I 
not sure if dairy is really a problem, or I'm not sure if I really have that, you know, reaction to the shellfish anymore. In this phase, you're actually able to reintroduce the food and you can actually report or we can actually record a response. So, um, you know, when you, it's kind of like a reintroduction phase where we can kind of see, okay, you know, if you're eating too many um, tomatoes, I think, you know, this is your limit. It gives us valuable insight as to your, more insight into your food intolerances, if you will. And then phase four. So phase four is a maintenance phase. You know, I'm still, you know, in phase four. I try to use the principles of this uh, program throughout my, you know, throughout my life. I really believe in it. It really has made a difference in my, my health. So it's a maintenance phase. And in this phase, we use um, some principles going forward. So what are those principles? And also in this phase, you know, you can you know, you have cheap meals, you can pretty much live your life the way you are, the, the way you want, but going back to the principles of the diet when you need to. So the eight rules or in the maintenance phase are such that um, you eat only three meals a day, which is also in the program. Um, you know, don't eat more or less than what the um, program prescribes. That's important. Uh, rule two is ensure that you have the five hour break between meals. Again, as I explained, that's key for anti inflammation and it's key for, um, you know, getting your hormones in check um, as well. Make sure no uh, make sure each meal lasts no longer than 60 minutes. So, you know, try not to eat too fast, but not drawn it out. Can you go to a restaurant? Of course you can. You can definitely enjoy yourself. But these are day to day types of um, recommendations that work well for, for people um, as well. This is an interesting rule. Begin each meal with one or two bites of protein. So when we eat protein first, it actually releases glucagon and glucagon is more is the opposite of insulin. It helps you burn and it helps you, you know, um, use utilize your blood sugar nicely. So that's one of the principles that um, we advise. Um, as well, be sure to have only one protein at each meal. And I'm going to get into why that is um, and why eating one protein at each meal is actually quite beneficial. Um, even if you don't decide to go with this program, it's really a, a key to um, lowering your inflammation. As well, um, you know, you shouldn't try to eat after 9 p.m. Um, that's probably a given. You, you know, if you eat too late, you probably won't sleep very well. And drink the calculated um, amount of water that's prescribed in your program, even in the maintenance phase. That's just going to keep you, um, you know, uh, keep your hunger hormones at bay and, you know, help you um, release those metabolic waste that I was talking about. And also eat your portion of fruit. Again, this is not a low carb um, program. Uh, Fruit, fruit is actually prescribed because it has enzymes that we need. Um, and again, it just optimizes our digestion and our and we get nutrients from fruit. So um, fruit is not a huge part, but it's it's the right amount of fruit for you that's prescribed. So as I was telling you about the um, the proteins, why we want to ha consume only one protein per meal, not one protein per day, one protein per meal. Um, here I have a graph of the biological value of proteins, meaning the absorption rate of different types of proteins. So proteins are made up of, you know, amino acids, and each amino acid has its own biological value or its own, um, what, what can I say, absorption rate. So if we think about an egg, an egg is considered to be 100% biologically available to us. All of the um, amino acids are at 100%, as you can see at the red line there. Um, and so we um, nicely consume eggs, um, all of the amino acids in eggs very efficiently. Um, but if you look at cow's milk, now cow's milk, you can see some of the amino acids are actually going up to 140. Now you would think that cow's milk is going to be better absorbed than eggs. This isn't true because the amino acid at the lowest level here, about 90, that's actually how much um, of the protein that we actually absorb. The rest is actually metabolic waste that is um, that stays in our digestion or we have to kind of remove it. It's not absorbed. So you can see here that if you have two competing proteins, well, the one that is least absorbed is actually um, the one that we take in. So this is why the principle is that, you know, 
I don't know if a lot of people have heard of food combining, you know, maybe this is something that you've heard that you shouldn't combine, you know, maybe milk and eggs together in this, as, as I have this laid out to you, but food combining is also an important part of diet and nutrition, which again, this program um, lays out for you and it, and it helps you, um, you know, uh, gives you information on how you should be eating these proteins. Okay, so um, this is actually a typical meal plan that you would get. Um, so here we have, you know, a person's um, meal plan. So you can see they have recommendations for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to stay in one column um, if you choose to. You can have, you know, suggestion one or the blue breakfast and a green lunch and a green dinner. You you're you're you have that flexibility. So this is the guidance in terms of the amounts. As I said. Um, the amounts are very important so that you don't eat too much, you don't eat too less, you're eating the right um, right amount of prescribed um, macros for you. And uh, the other thing that you get here, I hope I can do this, yes, okay. Um, some people also have, um, a, you know, they're able to eat bread, they're able to eat rye bread. On the plan, the only bread that ever shows up is rye bread if it's allowed for you. Um, so it takes out the guesswork, you know, should I go gluten free or should I not? If it's on the program, it's prescribed for you. You're able to have it. And this is again coming back to the point that we want to be satiated, but we want to use unprocessed um, whole grains, whole foods um, that are going to that are going to satiate you, but also that the body doesn't utilize right away. You know, you, you want your body to be able to have sustained energy. And these are the types of foods that we you know that are that are prescribed. OK, so this is somebody's individual food list. So based on the plan or the amounts that I showed you in the previous the, the, the previous slides, um, these are the different proteins, for example, this person is allowed to have. So, for example, you can they can have um, pumpkin seeds, they can have all these types of fish, they can have different types of seafood, um, yogurt. So they want you to eat based on this recommendation. Basically, you need to have you need to be eating these types of foods to feel better and to again align yourself with your digestion and your metabolism and your hormones. That being said, Obviously, after the period of the program, you can reintroduce other types of foods, but for you to feel your best, these are the recommendations that, that the program has made, at least for this person. Um, so these are the protein lists. You can appreciate that there are vegetarian sources as well as meat sources. Um, and also this is the carbohydrates. Under carbohydrates, we have you know vegetables and fruit. That's how they um, categorize the, the vegetables. But you can see here, I mean, you know, I have a very similar list and um, you know, kohlrabi, I never, you know, I would never think to eat that. But once I started eating in this manner or incorporate incorporating foods that I wasn't really eating, um, it's interesting. There are nutrients in those foods that I was lacking. So rather than relying on just supplements and multivitamins, you know, the food can actually be the source of all that we are deficient in. So that this is what really uh, what I love about this, this program and really drives home to me um, when I see something like this. Um, also, you can also see here, um, please eat tomatoes only twice per week. So this, this person, this is their prescription that, you know, they might have some anti, they might have some inflammation. Um, so for them, only twice a week can they have um, tomatoes to feel the, their best. Um, as well, they have their allotted amounts of fruit, um, and these are the fruits that they are to stay with for the four to six weeks that we are going to be doing the program. All right. So in closing, I kind of wanted to highlight this study. Uh, this was an independent study that was done, and it actually looked at uh, the metabolic balance program. So um, this was the um, you know title of the uh, of the study: program adherence and effectiveness of a commercial nutrition program, which this is the metabolic balance program or the metabolic balance study. So what was really interesting, this is an excerpt from the study. Um, and basically what the study looked at was a um, improvement in the overall quality of life. So when we talk about quality of life, we talk about different parameters such as, um, you know, how well you're sleeping, how your energy is. Are you able to do the things that you want to do in your life? Is arthritis holding you back? Well, you know, 
what this study showed was that the um, different health concerns or the, or the people who actually went through the program actually had a better um, overall quality of life. So there were about 524 subjects who went through this, this study. Um, and after 12 months, they showed a positive linear correlation with weight loss, which this in this study they measured. And also a lot of their blood parameters were, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, positively affected or they were normalized as well, their overall quality of life improved significantly. So this just shows you how important nutrition is in so many, um, you know, health processes. And for these individuals, you know, and for this study, this is what they mapped out and measured. Um, and there was a high degree of program adherence and that was due to a lot of the guidance and the support that um, you know that was given. This isn't something that you can you know download off the internet and you do on your own. The more guidance and the more support you have, um, definitely this is you know the more you put into the program, the more you get out. So this is really the the key to the success of, of metabolic balance. Um, before I open it up to questions, Jill, I just wanted to kind of. Um, highlight the the price i'm pretty sure this is going to be um, something that might be um, uh, a question and i just have an, uh, my last slide here is just about the you know the program price so um you know first off we do a initial intake uh, that's very important as you know to understand where your health is at what your um, goals are what your concerns are what you're dealing with if it's depression anxiety if it's uh, migraines you know I, the benefit with me is that I also do concurrent treatments, whether it's um, botanical medicine, herbal medicine, whether it's um, homeopathy, whether we have to do supplementation or prescriptions. This is the added benefit of you know doing a program with a healthcare professional for sure. Um, but yes, this 90 minute intake is very important so that I understand where you know your health concerns. Um, why isn't it going to the next slide? Okay. Um, then we, uh, I sent you to the lab. If we feel that this is the right program for you, then um, I sent you to the lab to get some blood work, the analysis, and actually the generation of the meal plan. So that's the price there um, for that. And then um, it's about a two week turnaround time to get the results and to actually implement the program, or then we meet after two weeks to kind of go through your results. And then we have some follow ups. So as you can appreciate, um, you know, there are going to be lots of questions. Um, as I said, guidance is is key to this, to key to the success of this program. And to know that, you know, I'm always available, whether through email, um, through phone call, um, I'm really there to support you and to really help you with any questions. Um, you know, if you're not able or you don't feel like you can't do this, you know, I'm I'm there for you. I'm your cheerleader. And um, it's something that um, I really, really believe in that this is a, a, a very a unique program um, that a lot of people can benefit from. And I think that uh, I'm so excited to be able to offer this to all my patients. I just want to say that it's covered uh, by most, it should be covered by most um, extended healthcare plans. And if you're unsure, you can always um, have a complimentary free um, 15 minute consultation. So I can explain to you if, in, if anything didn't make sense today, or if there are any questions, we can always go into that in detail. So, um, Thank you for your attention. And if there are any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. All right. Um, Kara actually had a really good question. Um, so she was asking if you deal with any fibromyalgia clients and she's currently in menopause as well, if that's something that would be effective for the program. Yes, I mean, I don't want to give, you know, individual medical advice in, in a in a forum like this, but for sure, I think, um, you know, if you talk about fibromyalgia, there's definitely an, an inflammatory component um, in the in the process of the you know, the illness. Um, so anything that you can do to really mitigate the um, inflammation um, and the pain associated with that is is is, is going to definitely help you. Um, you know, for menopause, yes, it's 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 really a lifestyle that really. Um, you know, determines the outcome or how you go through the through the phase in the in, in life. And again, I'm here to help you to support you um, it through through the program and also, you know, with other treatments as well. This is not the only thing I do. Um, but as I said, it's a I'm I've been finding it's a it's a key component to a lot of different health concerns. 
All right. If there's any other questions, you can type them in the Q&A at the bottom there. Oh. All right. So Andrea has a question as well. If taking supplements prior to the plan, is this taken into account when the blood work is done? Yes. Um, I mean, you know, certain supplementations, um, you know, I would say the more like the B12s, the iron, that can definitely have um, an impact on the blood values, the blood results. But other types of supplements, you know, if you're taking herbal supplements or different types of um, other um, nutrients, they don't necessarily impact the um, the blood results. The blood actually, I forgot to mention that it actually looks at a very interesting thing called C-reactive protein. And Jill, I'm sure you you know know all about C-reactive protein. It's an inflammatory marker, and we really you know that we really measure how much inflammation you have in the body. And based on that, we try to you know you know put in strategies to to lower the inflammation. So I think that's more valuable than you know anything. And taking supplementation doesn't necessarily impact the blood results negatively or your outcomes negatively at all. Okay. Okay. And a couple of questions here from Carrie. Um, in the meal plan, it shows an apple or a peach with one CT. What does this mean? Is it a measurement? I think it's a measurement. Um, I have to look at that. I'm sorry. I knew that on the top of my head and I can't remember. I don't know why I can't remember. It, it was on my plan too. And I don't remember. Sorry. I'll have to come back to you, Carrie. You can leave your email and I'll definitely get back to you. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And oops, sorry, one sec here. She also asked, how long is the turnaround time from blood test to program results and plan setup? So uh, yes, I think with life labs, I think they're pretty good now. I, there was a um, definite back backlog with them. Um, other um, testing that was uh, that we were seeing, but uh, it's pretty quick now. But yeah, it takes about two weeks um, between blood work and um, getting the results. So in terms of the intake, that can be whenever I, uh, you know, it takes a you know a few hours for me to do the blood the requisition for you, and then you can you're free to take the requisition to any life labs um, and whenever is convenient for you. I have to do, I have to tell you that um, before the blood work, um, it's best to fast for eight to 12 hours. So best to do it in the morning when you can, because we want to again assess how your body is metabolizing, metabolizing insulin, how it's using insulin and your blood sugar levels. That's also very key in, um, in setting up the program and setting up the rec recommendations. Okay. And sorry, so Kara had another question, whether we do direct billing to benefits. Um, if it's okay, I'm gonna cover this one because I do a little bit of it. Um, Kara, yes, we do do direct billing. However, we can't bill until you've had your appointments, um, but most companies will cover direct billing as long as you have naturopathic medicine in your benefit package. Um, and a follow up here. Um, so would you be able to continue taking supplements while carrying out the plan? During the plan, um, it's advised not to, not to actually do any supplementation. Um, we're trying to again hone in on the foods. And, you know, the theory is that really most of what you need can be harnessed from food. So we want to kind of, um, you know, try to use the prescriptions that are laid out in the plan for you um, and, you know, rely less on the uh, supplementation because again, they could have an, they could, you know, impact you in a, in a different way, but that's the recommendation that, you know, you try to not use the supplements for a period of time while you go through the program. And is there a cost at the lab for blood work or is the fee paid to the program? Um, no, the, the program price that I had, uh, indicated includes the lab work, the lab workup, the, the fact that you have to get the blood draw and the analysis, the program generation, um, the report, it, it covers all of that. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and another question, can you lose weight at 65 years old? Why not? <laughs> Yes, why not? Of course, of course you can. Yes. And again, it's looking at balance. It was looking at your hormones. Um, and again, you know, weight is also, as I said, you know, there's some inflammation that we can address for sure. So it's, uh, it's all part and parcel of that. And definitely, there's something that we can do. If you're motivated, I'm here to help you and I'm and the program will definitely deliver if that's what you choose to do. Good. Okay. 
Any other questions here? I'll give you another minute or so just to put anything in here. So if you're interested in booking a, an appointment or even a consultation with Dr. Gupta, you can do them online. We do have, um, if you look under our online booking, there's options there for a 15 minute consultation. Um, and there is also options to start the metabolic process right off the hop, um, but they'll be labeled metabolic balance program. Um, and again, just sign, um, make an appointment there. If you have any trouble with it, you're certainly more than welcome to call our number here listed and we can help you through the process as well. And um, also, Jill, if there's anybody, um, you know, who would want to, um, you know, want me to reach out to them, um, for sure, I can definitely do that with if they leave their um, uh, email address, um, I'd be happy to, um, you know, follow up and, um, you know, speak, th speak with them and uh, see if this is a good fit. And um, yeah, we can go from there. Excellent. Okay. Um, and there was a question about it, the, whether or not it was recorded. Absolutely, these will be recorded and they will be going on our YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, and I'll get our front desk um, person as well to usually send out a follow up email for everyone that was included today. So you can rewatch it if you'd like as well. Okay. And uh, a couple of thank yous to you. <laughs> and. Uh, did a fantastic job today. Yes, I hope I didn't, um, you know, confuse anybody. <laughs> but um, yeah, what I want to leave everybody with is that, as I said, diet and nutrition play such a huge role. Um, and this really takes out the guesswork as to what we should be eating and, you know, which, what is optimal for our bodies. And um, yeah, that's, um, yeah, thank you so much for your attention and having me. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Well, that's all we have for tonight. So everybody have a wonderful evening and uh, hope to see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you.